due to the tobacco industry trying to get liability to Medicaid claims and health care claims for secondhand smoking. Um, I will show you in my speech the White House standpoint on this issue, Congress's standpoint, and the tobacco standpoint, and how the actual agreement came about and what happened with that agreement. First off, when this proposal was submitted to the White House, their divisions came about. One side of it supported the proposal, but others such as Vice President Al Gore and Secretary of Health and Human Services Donna Shalala did not support this and they were against it. Former FDA Commissioner David, Dr. David Kessler came to the White House and proposed that there should be a $1.50 raise per pack. Uh, he believed that that would affect underage smoking because kids don't have very much money. Well, not always, but that's what he believed. Clinton came up with a proposal, and his centerpiece of that proposal was the $1.50 raise. But Congress, however, did not agree with that, and they were very upset with this proposal. Excuse me, they didn't agree with the June 20th proposal that the tobacco industry submitted. Congress was upset, and one and former FTC Commissioner, Federal Trade Commission Commissioner, said that Congress would like to at least appear to write legislation because what happened was the tobacco industry brought this to the White House and the President said, well, here we're going to offer a $1.50 price, pri $1 price raise per pack over the next 10 years. So Congress was very upset with that because they were not, they were not involved in that at all. And the reason Congress is afraid to make a, a decision about this is because it's an election year. And uh, the problem was that, that the tobacco industry donated a considerable amount more to the Republican con Congress people than the Democrats. And the Democrats are afraid to do something because the White House has backed out on supporting them many times and they're afraid that will happen again. Congress would like to see the price boost in three years instead of ten years as, as the President proposed. But they have, not, they have not yet gotten together to come up with, they have not decided on this issue yet. Now I will tell you where the tobacco industry stands with this. Like I said, they brought the June 20th proposal as a way to avoid lawsuit exposure and future lawsuit exposure. But one thing that has happened recently that has strengthened the tobacco industry is that a Philadelphia federal court judge ruled against a class action lawsuit of a smoker, of, excuse me, of the state trying to get expenses to back up the liability for their, for the, uh, Medicare? Yes, the health care claims. And this strengthened the tobacco industry because they believe that in the future that this will happen again, that they will be tossed out of court. Right now there are two pending cases that, similar cases that the tobacco industry believes will happen the same way and that, that it will just strengthen the tobacco industry. So basically they're coming back to the drawing board because if this is going to happen, they, they don't necessarily have to spend that $368 billion over 25 years. In closing, I would like to review what I've told you. White House, the White House would like to see $1.50 per pack raise over 10 years. Congress would like to see it in three years. And the tobacco industry wouldn't like to see that at all. <laughs> However, they are willing to spend $368 billion to curb underage smoking because that is what President Clinton is most concerned about. My belief, I believe that smokers will see a price raise, so if there are any smokers in this class, you all better be prepared for that. <laughs> if, you would not, if you would not like to see this price raise or would like to see it, you can contact Congress members 
And our Cong our senator of this region is Tilly Fowler, and if you would like to contact her, her number is 202-225-2501. And you can also get <coughs> Representative Bob Graham and Representative Con and Max number from her and further lobby your cause from there. And I thank you for your time, and good luck. <laughs>